All right, guys. So we are back in the garage. We are looking at uh, our Subaru swap again, and, and we're getting down to the little details. And you know, we, we've been going on and on about paint. I don't want to get too far along in this install, but any holes we have to drill, placement of stuff, we're trying to sort out and figure that out uh, before paint. And uh, we should be close to paint. I, uh, if you've been watching, I know you know I've been saying that for feels like a year now. I just found out today, it's a long story, but the painter I've been anxiously waiting for and wanting to use, he had some family sickness and whatnot. And today he informed me he's retiring. So um, we shook hands, wished each other all the best, and I am now in the market for a new painter. But with that in, in mind, it is fastly approaching winter here and so I'm not in a major rush but I do want to get it out there sooner than later and hopefully have all winter to assemble and tinker with this motor. I do have concerns that it's not going to start the first time I turn the key so uh, anyhow with all that being said if Sean wants to scroll over here I believe the last thing we showed was the mock-up of the exhaust. It's still kind of hanging on here a bit, but what we're doing today is locating the fuel pump. And for that, we've decided we're going to do it on the passenger side. I'm going to mount it in vertical fashion using the wheel well, and we're going to mount it over here. I'm going to drill a hole through here for my inlet and we're going to run it down through the C channel or the chassis back towards the gas tank and then on obviously the outlet side a nice easy connection here okay so that we're going to drill some holes plan that this mounting bracket, I know I've been saying like I got this from this guy, that guy. This came from Velospeed. Uh, nice, clean little setup. There's actually a sleeve. You can see it's it's not tight. There's actually a sleeve that goes over the fuel pump and then I tighten the Allen key. Get a nice tight fit. And then the next is our expansion tank. So. For this, you want it to be positioned high. And we've added the rear hatch. So what we did is I've done some placement and maybe Sean and I will switch, switch sides, but we were thinking this wheel well, the spare wells, because this is a, a walkthrough model. So we have that hanging down. So we've got some good metal to mount to. And we went out and purchased these spacers. So we got about a one inch spacer there because what I'm trying to achieve is when I mount this here is that my cap is right inside the access hatch. And uh, that's gonna be nice and convenient, like popping your hood, pouring in some fluid, should work out well. So we're gonna go ahead get these mounted and then uh, we'll continue on with the radiator piping. We've almost got that routed. Um, we're gonna cut some of our practice hoses and maybe I'll just keep talking about that for a sec. So what we have is we have our hoses. So Again, we purchased some stuff from Subi Swaps at the beginning, and then they weren't following through with their end of the deal. They took our money. They didn't ship us everything. The stuff they shipped us, we weren't happy with. It's a song here I like to sing. I go on about that again and again. But if I can just show you the quality of the radiator hoses, I'm sure you can tell. Good quality. That is good quality. So look at like, I think there's a single bead in there. Look at this one, like the strength of this hose uh, is much better. And 
So what we're going to do is cut this up into pieces. Most of the runs we need are actually straight because they bent all the piping for you. So you're not, you're not doing the bends with hose, you're doing the bends with pipe. And then you just have little connectors. So we're going to cut straight sections of this, put it all together before we make our final cuts with the expensive piping. And again, to further expand on that, we recently did receive correspondence from Subi Swaps. They've informed us that they are closing the doors. So if you're watching this video and you're considering buying parts from them, the website's still active, but they are closing the doors. They've sent us a letter. I am still waiting on parts. It's been over a year. Do yourself a favor, look somewhere else. Okay, so we're just mounting, we got our holes now, we're just mounting our rubber mounts on into the tire well. I'm going to end up cutting off the thread that's a little long. And I know since we're posting this video on YouTube, we're gonna get someone going, oh my God, you drilled holes in there and the vapors and fumes from the engine, they're gonna come inside and kill everybody. Leave your comment, that's fine. <laughs> It's 21 window bus. I only drive it on sunny days. The roof, Sean, show them my roof. The roof will always be open when we're driving. Lots of fresh air. We are not worried. That's what we decided to do. If you want to mount it differently, fill your boots, okay? That was my rant for the negative YouTube comments that come our way. So I'm gonna go ahead and Stage up this bottle, put it on, and then we'll check from the top. Oops. We'll check from the top, make sure we have enough spacing. I've even considered I may have to um, put two of the one inch spacers, but it was the biggest size I could find. I'm sure there's bigger sizes out there, but again, Leave your comment below. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the back. And it's resting on our wiring harness right now, but obviously that's not its final resting place. So I don't think we're going to need to double up on that space, so I think that will be that will be pretty good. We'll show you an angle from the top, but uh, yeah, put a little funnel in there if need be, and uh, there you go. So that's one. Now we'll move over to the other side and uh, focus on our fuel. So with the engine in, I couldn't fit my drill in. We drilled that from behind. I'm just gonna clean the burrs off now with my, well, my like Brillo pad. I don't even know what you call these things. I like to use them to clean off the burrs. Pretty easy, clean. Doesn't make a big mess. Doesn't grind off. Tons of metal. Okay, so we're gonna position this on. Put the fuel pump in and then mark the hole down through the body. We've got a rubber grommet here. Fit around our fuel line. So we will drill out to the size of the grommet. And then that's one more thing that's complete and ready to go for this uh, Subaru saw. So we've got the bracket just sitting on there. And I'm looking and it's closer. Well, I'd rather just drill through the sheet metal than actually through the frame. 
So those are the spacers that came with the mounting bracket. And they're about a half inch. So I'm gonna swap them out for my bigger ones. And that would just give me that little bit more clearance, pushing me further away from the frame, just so that way I'm just drilling through tin to run my uh, fuel line. So I'm gonna go ahead, set up a bit of this now. So made our holes bigger, cleaned it up, made the holes bigger on the body. Already got the rubber mounts on there. So we're just going to put our screws in. And while I'm sitting here, and I think you can see our breather there in the background, maybe I'll start a discussion, but I've seen, I don't know if it was Subi squared. Uh, maybe we'll post a link down below, but there's a company making a really nice looking breather box that uses um, the original Subaru air filter. I'm not too excited about the cone. I'm happy that it fits in here the way it does. I think I might have to shorten this pipe a bit actually, but anyway, I'm glad it fits in here. And you know, you can see my fresh air is right there. So good distance, good proximity. Maybe it'd be better actually, instead of shortening to extend, you can tell I'm thinking out loud here, but I do like this Subi squared um, breather box I saw. I'm considering it, I'm wondering if anyone else out there has used it. Where did you mount it? Where did you put the port? Like maybe up against there? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. The website said it was for a Vanagon. So I am trying to squish it into a split, but I, I think it would work. I think you could make it happen and I'm considering it. So yeah, let me know. Okay, so back to this. So fuel filter is sitting temporarily. I'm gonna mark that and I like our positioning a little better. I think I would still like it to be over a little further. I'm gonna take a measurement. It's about three inches. Bigger spacers. I think so. I'd like to move that over. I'm, I'm going to try to avoid going through the frame again. If I can, there I have room to do it. So yeah, I'm going to have to get myself some more spacers. So I guess on that note, I'm going to cut it off here for tonight. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you then.